let us look at it graphically the same thing. What we have here is if we try to draw the isoquants, you have already studied isoquant. What do we mean by isoquant? Same amount of output. So, what we have here is L, here we have K, fine, and isoquant in the Cobb Douglas case is going to be like this. Of course, it is not things like that, okay. Q1, Q2, Q3, different amounts of output. Okay. Now, let us me draw the iso cost line okay in the long run what we have in the long run this is not a perfect graph but don't worry about it what we want to capture, we are able to capture here in this graph. So, what we have here is in the long run, we can vary both k and l. What does isoquant mean? Even if we take this combination of k and l, we will be able to produce q 1, but why we are choosing this combination? Because this combination is least costly combination to produce q 1 amount of output that we have already learned. Okay. And similarly, this is the least costly way to produce q 2 and this is the least costly way to produce q 3. Here of course, what we are assuming? We are moving here look at the amount of k and l, look at the amount of k and l. We are able to change both k and l. So, the way we have described it, of course, we are talking about cost minimization in the long run. Now, let us look at it what happens in the short run. Short run what we have is the k is fixed. Let us say that k is fixed deliberately at this amount. Okay. This is the amount. Now, if we want to produce q 1 at the minimum possible cost, which combination should we use? We should use this particular combination. If we want to produce q 2, we should use this combination and if we want to produce q 3, we should use this combination. Fine. So, one thing you should figure out that the minimum cost to produce q in the long run is going to be less than or equal to the minimum cost of producing q in the short run. Why? Why? You said it is fine. I am saying to we are talking about producing q 1 in short run as well as in long run. Okay. The minimum cost to produce q 1 in long run is going to be less than or equal to the minimum cost of producing the same amount of output in the short run. Sir, because in short run the capital is fixed and we can only vary labor. So, by looking at this iso, uh, iso cons, we can say that uh, the minimum cost bundle is below it or okay. you are using graph. Simple way to look at it, very simple way to look at it. In long run, you are not allowed to vary k, you are allowed to vary only l. Okay. K is fixed and in long run you can vary k and l both. So, in the long run the cost to produce q, the minimum cost to produce q is of course, equal to or less than because you know at worst what you can do? You can keep the k, k fixed. Here in the long run you have more flexibility, you can change k as well as l or l as well as k, while in the short run you are not allowed to change k. So, the cost in the long run, minimum cost to, to produce q in the long run is cannot be more than the minimum cost to produce q in the short run, because in the long run you are allowed to vary both k as well as l. Let us say you feel 
that you would be able to do worse by varying k in the long run, what you will do? You will keep the k fixed, same as the short run. So, you will get the minimum cost as the short run, but maybe you can do better by changing k also. In that case, doing better, what does it mean? That you are able to reduce the cost. So, long run cost to produce q minimum cost is going to be less than or equal to. Why I am saying equal to? Because look at this scenario, we have fixed k equal to k bar. Of course, here at the optimal level, even though I am not allowed to vary k bar, at optimal level it turns out that k star that is the k required in the long run is same as k bar. So, in this case you cannot do better. So, the cost is going to be same in the long run as well as in the short run. Is it clear? Fine. Any doubt about it? Now, if you can say that you can say let us look at the graph also. Let me draw the same graph. fine. Now, let us look at it. In the long run you are producing here and in, in the short run you have to use this combination. What would be the cost here minimum cost? You are using this much amount of labor and this much amount of capital, this much amount of capital. So, cost is going to be let us say let me put L star and K star, cost is going to be R K star plus W L star and I can draw a line R k plus W L giving the cost ISO cost line and how, how would it look like exactly as blue line. Now, if we draw the ISO cost line from here, how would it look like parallel because R and k are fixed, but k and L are different. So, it is going to be look like this. So, it would be parallel these two are these two are parallel you can say. So, see here of course, this indicates less cost than this. How about at this point? It would be same as the blue line overlapping. So, in this case long run cost here is the same as short run cost. Fine. 